Japan. Thank you for your watching my YouTube channel. Today, I enjoy cheese pork onigiri. This is a kind of Japanese street food. Please watch this video and try to cook it. Okay, let's enjoy cooking. First of all, I introduce the ingredients I use today. 2 cups of rice, 30 grams of cheese, 10 thinly sliced pork. The seasonings are 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 1 tablespoon sweet sake, 1 tablespoon cooking sake, and sesame. First, make the rice balls. Spread plastic wrap and put 2 tablespoons of rice. Put your favorite cheese on top of rice. I use mozzarella today. Put a little of rice on top of cheese. Pinch the edge of the plastic cup and roll the rice ball into the bowl. The plastic wrap uh, can be used several times, so don't throw it away after one use. Next, spread the pork and put rice ball on top of it. Wrap the rice ball with the pork. Wrap the rice ball nicely, holding the pork end. Wrap the all of rice bowl with the pork. The base of pork onigiri are completed. Next, turn on the heat and spread oil in a frying pan. Place the pork onigiri on the frying pan with the pork cut side down. Roll the pork onigiri while turning it so that pork is brown.
When it is browned all over, add soy sauce, sweet sake, and cooking sake. Boil while blowing the rice balls. When the water is gone, turn off the heat. Press the pork onigiri on the plate. Finally, sprinkle sesame seeds. The perfect cheese pork onigiri is completed. The pork onigiri I made today is not Japanese traditional meal. During Japanese festival, pork onigiri sticks are sometimes sold. Today, I made rice balls that are easy to make and eat at home. You can enjoy delicious pork rice bowl without cheese. Other recipes include ginger and green onions mixed with rice. Please try to make pork onigiri. Thank you for your viewing how I do cheese pork onigiri. It is easy to cook and delicious, so please try it. If you enjoyed this video, please check my YouTube channel and tap like button. And I'm going to keep forward your comments. See you next week. Bye!